Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with the tarot card reading for you today. <laughs> I had to take a breather, man. I'm talking and talking and talking. I have a stallium in my, what is it, my fourth or my fifth house? I think I'm a fifth house sage. So just as much as Sagittarius can walk across the world, I can talk just as much. Um, but yeah, uh, learn your birth chart, man. Learn your superpowers. Learn where superheroes come from. <laughs> They're closer to you. You have more in common with them than you know. Uh, let's see. Using the Lightseer's Tarot deck today. Pulling some messages for Capricorn. All right. So let's see here. Ooh, we got the, the devil card showing his face. Mm -mm -mm. Haven't seen the devil card all day. Let's make sure we shuffle this deck real good. Make sure you like subscribe to the channel uh if you find value in the reading today allow the message to grow and spread we're wanting to um we're wanting to expand here capricorn energy boss we're wanting to build a business we have grounding you today eight of wands a lot of creativity a lot of passions a lot of work this is even travel now this is also people being attracted to you you're pulling in creative energy you're pulling in sexual energies here we also have an explosion here wonder how that's gonna show up in uh the everyday life here i'm gonna watch the news and friggin the chernobyl plan is gonna blow up <sighs> hate to speak these things into existence we have chariot here for uh capricorn so there's a transformational period coming towards you here we have travel we have an air of confidence willpower uh a certain form of internal strength here not just what we see on the outside. Definitely confidence. Someone seeking vic a victorious moment here. We have Queen of Swords here. More travel. So, okay, so the fastest moving uh, or the, the cards I associate most with traveling here. Grounding the reading, Eight of Wands. So someone's coming towards you with sexual advances. Coming towards you with some type of creative uh, passions or insight. Some type of business idea because we have queen of swords coming up here so this could be marriage could have a soulmate a relationship coming towards you maybe even a twin flame we have the knight of um wands coming up here so, okay so <laughs> someone's gonna have to tame their uh excited nature or their sexual natures here or someone's trying to there's a lot of sexual frustration here now, there could be an air of integrity here. I'm not sure what I'm getting, but there's a lot of sexual passion. Someone could be refraining from sex, even though they have a lot of sexual frustration built up inside of them. They could put that energy uh, and these ideas toward developing some sort of business for themselves. Um, again, creative insights, uh, ideas here. I mean, have you ever tried going to work after having sex? <laughs> Have you ever tried um, doing something very important without that extra energy that you just expended? <laughs> Could be dealing with some form of a content creator. Mm, okay, so this mm, this is OnlyFans. People trying to hack sex and uh, money-making endeavors here. Better build some type of integrity for yourself. Now, we could be dealing with some form of, of a model. Okay. Could be dealing with a model. Could be dealing with uh, hmm, a stylist. We're getting a uh, what am I getting here? This is like some type of fashion show or something like that. Now this is four of wands. This is twin flames. This is a reunion and relationship. But I'm getting some sort of a party here. This is some sort of a runway or something like that or some sort of I'm channeling models. I'm 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 channeling stylists. So this is some sort of a, uh, a gathering, an artistic gathering here. This could be some form of an artistic museum, but I'm, I'm, I'm really channeling style here. So this could be a, a, content, a beauty content creator, a style content creator, or this could be literally some type of fashion event. Right, that's what I'm getting. Three of Wands, yeah, sexual creati creativities and passions coming towards you. Threes are about creating. Someone can't wait to do something here. Someone can't wait to get on the runway. Three of Wands coming right under the, the chariot. 
so more travel here this is one of the minor travel cars this is like waiting on the bus or waiting on the ships to come in so that you can get on the ship okay so i'm getting a carnival cruise see what else we're getting Ooh, <laughs> a highlighted moment here 15 minutes of fame a celebrity here uh, tr uh passions are traveling towards you you could even have yeah you're having some type of business ideas coming this is a runway this is a model this is um, a stylist here man this is what i'm getting here some type of fashion event uh it could be some form of uh, stage presence we could be dealing with a some form of some type of a performance artist maybe a comedian or something like that a motivational speaker some type of uh hmm I'm almost getting Kanye West vibes, but why but why would I be getting that? Maybe explaining fashion here? Could be some type of an interview. Okay, yeah, Six of Wands coming right under the Queen of Swords. This could be some form of an interview here. Maybe someone's getting put inside some sort of a magazine. They're getting put front street on some, some form of a website. They're getting put in front of something here. Here we go, we, here we go, already starting. Random, random kids, like, are you that horrible at basketball that you got to shoot the ball over the goal so that your ball lands directly three feet in front of me? <laughs> like, uh, But yeah, we're, we're dealing with fashion here. We're dealing with style and design here. Libras are known for taking on that Empress energy here. We're getting two of swords. Hmm. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting Sister Act 2 when lauren hill wanted to be a singer again stage presence she wanted to be a singer but her mother didn't believe in her so if you haven't yeah man i'm, I'm telling my age so if you've never seen sister act uh or sister act two go to youtube it's probably about a five minute clip the last five minutes probably the most important part of the movie where the children they were um very confident in the things that they were doing um and they took that leap to um and Lauren Hill took that leap to uh, go outside of her mother's wishes to develop a celebrity for herself or to follow her dreams and her passions. Again, running and walking across stage. This could be music. Again, finances. There, There's music being played here while at this fashion event. This could be some type of album release party as well. Someone's going over and above to display, um, to display their artistic talent here. This could be, uh, yeah, they're trying to get a chip off their shoulder here. This is my trying to um, get a message across here. So this is like a uh, getting the wonderful world of, I'm not going to say Disney. This is the wonderful world of something here. Um, dang it. What is it? Yeah, they're, they're, this is some, there's someone's uh, putting a lot of their ideas out there. Well, I did speak about Virgil Abloh earlier in one of the tarot card readings. So again, uh, watch pretty much. You should probably watch all of these readings here. Every day is a new day that we're born. So while while yeah, we take on the blueprint of our birth charts. Imagine if you don't wake up today. Imagine if you don't wake up tomorrow. So every day is your birthday. Every time a new season or a new zodiac sign comes around, you should be watching that reading regardless. If you have the free time. But yeah, we're getting a fashion event. This could be an album release party. This could be celebrities or highlighted figures or perceived VIPs here. Uh, King of Cups. Mm, okay, so we're also getting a pastor here as well. Some, some sort of a psychic or an intuitive, a highlighted figure. Someone delivering a message of empathy, of love here. Uh, image consulting is what I'm getting here. Uh, therapist. Um, music is my motivation. Music is my therapy is what I'm channeling here. Music is my savior. Um, you know, someone actually channeled something yesterday. I think it was one of the tarot readers that I watch. Uh, that's, or let's see if I'm able to remember the message. Music is our, uh, eternal emotions here. Yeah. So I wonder why, um very successful artists uh become very successful because they're bearing their soul they're bringing some something from the inside and they're um they're bringing bringing it forward to the collective here you can see the energy bursting from his chest here he's delivering mes a message from the inside and it's coming right under the four of wands so he's sharing it with the collective here so i'm getting a lot of music a lot of fashion a lot of style and design 
It could be some form of a filmmaking as well. Someone is trying to get a message across. So we could be dealing with an amateur director or, or more of a, more of an adept with it being a night. Yeah. Stage presence and whatnot. Lights, camera, action. 15 minutes of fame, a celebrity. Major Arcanas. Yeah, there's a lot of people involved in this event as well. There's a lot of sexual... So, <laughs> it doesn't mean an orgy, although this could be some type of sex club, but... A lot of our creative passions and insights come from our sacral chakra. Again, what is the greatest creation in the world? Humans. They even try to catalog us as human capital. Uh, Major Arcanas, we're getting the chariot, so travel, yeah. Yeah, it has to be some type of event that a lot of people are traveling to. That's what I have for you today. Yeah, that's what I have for you. We get two knights, knight of wands, knight of swords, and then we get the king of cups and the queen of cups. So definitely a lot of people, court cards are people to me. Four or more people here. We're getting two of swords, three of wands, four of wands. Yeah. They have to develop the idea or the concept first. And then people are going to travel to this event. And then it's going to be a big party celebration and then people are going to be able to display their talent here. Kind of like what I used to do when I was younger when I, me and my family owned a club in Miami. It was a whole uh, two to three months, a summer full of um, putting artists on the map and, let, and letting them get stage presence in a little uh, makeshift, makeshift uh, club that we had. We rented out a uh, storage space and we threw parties every weekend and allow artists to come in and put their music out there. But that's what I have for you today's uh, Capricorn. Yeah, man, business, man, relationships, networks, working hard to put your artistic talent and creativity out there. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.